If lawmakers can't respect the rule of law and rules, how can they expect the people to? Tennessee House Republicans on Monday took steps towards expelling three Democrat state representatives after they participated in protests at the state capitol last Thursday calling for more gun control in the wake of the deadly mass shooting at Nashville's Covenant School. You'll remember we showed videos of this protest after the gender pretender killed the three children and three adults at this Christian school because they hated Christians and because the Christians would not accept the training for what they were. GOP lawmakers filed three resolutions Monday, one each seeking the expulsion of Representatives Glory Johnson of Knoxville, Justin Jones of Nashville, and Justin Pearson of Memphis, each of whom was already removed from their committee assignments after last week's protest. Those three Democrats were part of what I will call an insurrection because it looked just like what happened at the Capitol in D.C. on January 6th. In fact, they used bullhorns to rile up the demonstrators on the state floor trying to incite these people to some kind of violence, it appeared. One of the idiots, Mr. Jones, said, there comes a time when you have to do something out of the ordinary. We occupied the House floor after repeatedly being silenced for talking about the crisis of mass shootings. Well, that's not true, for one. Um, they knew they broke a rule, but they were not protesting after being silenced. They've never been silenced. Now, like the gender pretender, maybe they weren't acknowledged because the people in Tennessee don't want what you're selling. Maybe you're trying to sell an anti-gun thing in the state and the people aren't having it, so therefore the politicians who put them in office aren't letting you get away with it. So don't pretend that somebody forcibly silenced you just because they don't believe in what you've got to say. Again, you are no different than the trans killer who killed those people when you put yourself in that position and act like just because somebody has an opposing opinion that somehow or another they just they're silencing you they're they're censoring you no 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 just because somebody doesn't go along with you does not mean that you're being censored or silenced johnson one of the other idiots acknowledged that they broke the rule by speaking out of turn but stress we walked to the well to speak to the people that begged for us to protect them i'm going to speak on behalf of the people of tennessee the people in Tennessee were not asking you to take their guns from them. You should pay better attention to the people. If you're going to act like you're speaking for the people, at least listen to the darn people. The people in Tennessee are asking you to freaking secure the schools. They're not asking you to disarm them. They're not begging you to take their rights from them. They're begging you to get off your lazy butt and do something about these schools that are kill zones for the wackos out there like the tranny that shot the place up. I mean, it's like old Leatherface here and these two guys aren't even hearing the things out there that are being plainly spoken to them because I have heard what the people of Tennessee have said and they have not said, please take my guns. They have said, please secure our schools. I hope these people get expelled because these people put themselves up on a pedestal already to begin with. That That's once they get elected, like, oh, look, look, these people really like me. But these are people who were sent to the state capitol to make law. That's right. These people are not just mere spectators in the state house. They are sent to their state house in order to do the will of the people and enact new laws or get rid of old laws. That's what their job is. And they simply don't respect the rule of law or rules themselves. They clearly are acknowledging that they knew there were rules in place and decided they wanted to break them. So how in the world do they talk to constituents and say, you need to follow the law when you can point directly at them and say, wait a minute, you knew of a rule and you broke it yourself. You had nothing to gain by this and you broke it anyway. So how are you any different than the people breaking the law out there? And by God, for once in your life, would you please secure our schools and quit trying to take our damn guns from us? I'm sorry, I thought this was America.